hi welcome once again to my channel epv media youtube channel in this video i'm going to be talking about open ai and chat gpt and how technical and vocationally skilled people should look at this new innovation in technology how is open ai and chat gpt going to affect technologically and vocationally skilled people and jobs and careers and if there's anything we should be worried about if at all i'm going to provide you with exciting information about open ai what it is whether we should be worried as technically or vocationally skilled people and what are the opportunities there that we should be looking at with this new technological innovation as usual i want to remind you that this channel is dedicated to promoting tvet or technical vocational and ict education and skills acquisition as well as businesses related to technical vocational and ict this is because we believe skills acquisition education is the surest way to solving the unemployment problem all around the world there are a lot of videos that i've made about this issue and i will encourage you just click on this link that appears up here and it will take you to the channel to the other videos that i've made on tvet and ict skills acquisition and education and the huge and vast opportunities that exist out there for tvet and ict skilled people if you have not subscribed to this channel i'm giving you a minute right now just to do so because you are missing out on a lot of information so i'm going to give you a few seconds to subscribe right now so that you don't miss out on any of my subsequent videos so what we'll do is this just click on the red subscription button below at the corner there down there good and then click on the, the post notification bell good that's it now anytime i upload any new video you will be immediately informed so now let's go to the issue for today what is open ai and chat gpt and how does it affect technical and vocationally skilled people okay now thank you very much so right into our issue for today what is open ai and what is chat gpt it is the new craze in technological development a lot of people are into it and using it for various opportunities and there's a belief that it's a threat to prevailing jobs and careers and skills but how true is this particularly for technically and vocationally skilled people is open ai and chat gtp a threat now let's dive into it what is open ai now i'm going to explain it in the simplest and basic manner as possible now, OpenAI is nothing but the use of artificial intelligence to solve all manner of problems and to carry out all manner of tasks. So, artificial intelligence is where robots or softwares are trained or given the intelligence, the artificial intelligence, to think and act like human beings. So, they perform jobs faster, more efficiently, and are there to be used 24 hours a day. So, there's nothing like going on a break you know getting sick taking days off or anything these robots are available to work for you 24 hours a day and this ai technology has been enabled to perform various and diverse tasks they can write a whole essay for you they can even turn a whole film into animation they can design things banners uh, create avatars do a whole lot of things it is just crazy open ai has ability to carry out almost any task that you can think of that's why a lot of people are worried that these robots or artificial intelligence is going to take over jobs already the unemployment situation is not too good in certain parts of the world particularly in the third world so people are worrying what's going to be the future with open ai and the new variant of it which is the chat gtp now chat gtp is another open ai version that acts like a chat box it's a robot and you can ask it any question and it will perform or give you detailed answers exceptionally detailed answers in a very conversational way so you will ask it any question and it will provide to not only provide you the answers but to act with you as if you are talking to a human being it's an amazing technology and i'm going to display it for you i've installed it on my phone and i'm going to show you just how it works for you to see how amazing this technology works it is still in its developmental stages so most of the variants that are out there to be downloaded 
are still in the beta stage, that is, in the developmental stage. So, not all the answers it provides are correct. Some are even a little bit uh, harmful. But by and large, it provides a wonderful array of solutions to various questions and answers. And people are even worried for search engines like Google. Because not only does chat GPT provide answers, but also interacts with you. You don't need to be scrolling through adverts and reading long articles as you do when you're searching for something on Google. This one, it writes everything out to you and it provides very, very, very detailed answers. So let me just demonstrate a little bit of it for you, for you to see what I'm talking about. This is the icon chat GTP. I'm going to open it. And these are the various versions of the robot that you can choose from. You know, it is, it is a pre-trained AI model. That means it's been trained to perform various tasks. It's a robot that has been infused with a lot of data so that it can provide answers to various aspects of everything that human beings will usually want answers to. And even more. So let's, let's go on. So these are the various versions that you can work with. With the GPT Maverick, we have the GPT Thinker, <laughs> we have the AI Brainiac, and then we have the AI Genie version 1. No, so I will use the latest one, the GPT Maverick. So we continue. So, so we start the conversation. So since I'm into film production and filmmaking, you know, that's where my skill lies. I'll ask it a few things and see what it has to do. So, what are the new innovations in film or video technology 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 the new innovations in film or video technology include digital video technology and digital video recorder dvr technology which is not bad so let's continue what are the new soft software in video editing the new software in video editing is pro tools pro tools is a suite of software that helps you manage and edit videos more efficiently. Pro Tools also allows you to create and share videos with others in a way that is easy to use. <laughs> Amazing! And this is a computer you are talking to, you know, a robot talking to you as if you're talking to a human being. So you see how interactive it is. It's not like you're reading a piece of article, but it's as if you're interacting with a human being. Very amazing technology, you know. So. Let's continue. You know. What are some of the ways I can make <laughs> money with a vocational or technical skill so nice as executing <laughs> there's no one answer to this question as different people have different skills and can find different ways to make money with their vocational or technical skills <laughs> however some ways to make money with a vocational or technical skill include working at a company studying at a vocational or technical school or working as a tutor amazing you know so some it provides very detailed and, and very insightful answers to whatever question you input here so this and many more depending on what you want you know you input it and then it will give you detailed answers but of course not all the answers 
are correct some are even a little bit harmful you know but of course this is a, a software or a program that is in its developmental stages so the more it's capable of learning from its mistakes so depending on whether you click on like or unlike you know you know it will learn from it if it's unlike it means there's something that you don't like about it so there will be more research done to input the right answers into it so next time you ask the same question it's going to provide you a better and truthful answer it is capable of learning new things by itself amazing technology so because it is still in its developmental stages there are some answers that are not truthful or that are not exactly correct so let's try something for instance i'm going to test it with a question about somebody a well-known person in ghana where i come from so continue now i'm going to ask it if you know a certain professor this is a very well-known professor in ghana who does a whole lot it's a, a well-known linguistic professor and it is somebody who is known for his journalistic works he was once a minister of state in charge of tertiary education you know so he has a whole lot of vast experience he's very well known all over the world and in ghana so i'm going to ask it if it knows this professor so who is professor we see yanka <laughs> Professor Susini. <laughs> now this is the answer it gives. Professor Yanka is a Nigerian who has been a professor at the University of Nigeria since 1978. He is known for his research on African history and culture. <laughs> you know, professor should read this for himself. That's amazing. This is wrong information, you know. First of all, Professor Yanka is not a Nigerian, he's a Ghanaian. Second, I don't, or I'm not aware that Professor Yanka ever taught in Nigeria, particularly in this University of Nigeria, you know. So this is basically wrong information. But if you are somebody who does not know Professor Yanka or do, who does not know or have the answer to this question, you might think it is the right answer and then impute it into your whatever research or article or thesis or whatever it is you are doing and that could lead you into so many you know trouble so these are some of the limitations of this program chat gpt but of course it is developing and learning all the time this is just to show you the capabilities of this new technology there are those which can even do a whole homework for you so children can input their homework into this kind of program and it will generate the right answers for them. Even people writing theses in the university, you know, can even take somebody's thesis, somebody's already written thesis, input it into programs like this, and then demands that it gives them, it rephrases the whole write-up for them. So this very intelligent program will rephrase the entire article, making it look like it's a new article, when in fact, you are plagiarizing somebody's work. So that is the fear. So the opportunities and the capabilities of OpenAI and ChatGPT are vast and numerous. It can even design things, very technical things that human beings are doing. It can do it better and faster, you know, and various other things that OpenAI and ChatGPT are capable of. So that comes to us to the question, with people skilled in technical, vocational and ICT, should they be worried about open AI and chat GPT? From what I've seen and what I know of open AI and chat GPT, it looks to me that yes, it can perform a lot of technical jobs or actions and can perform some creative things that human beings do. but. I still do not think it can overtake the capabilities of a human being. For some jobs in the vocational and technical field, like jobs where you interact with human beings, jobs when you write a lot, like journalism, teaching, or people who provide support services, that is you interact with clients of a business and then uh, give or provide solutions to whatever it is that they want to know about, whatever products or services that you provide, front desk staff, secretaries, and things like that, ChatGTP has the potential, 
you know, of doing some of these things better than human beings. So yes, there is a possibility that, you know, this open AI technologies could do some of these jobs better. But still, I do not see it taking over, completely taking over these jobs. I do not see these robots doing extremely creative work as the human creative mind is capable of. Yes, they might be able to do some, but not all. What I would rather encourage is that these are technologies that will enhance every technical and vocational skilled career or job. I do not see it taking over because the human being still can do a whole lot of things that this robot cannot do. For instance, these robots, at least as at now, do not have the soft skills that human beings have. Soft skills of interpersonal relations, how to uh, relate with people, the emotional feelings of empathy, sympathy, and all those type of things that go to create very good interpersonal relations between the company or the service provider and the client. There are a whole lot of things that human beings are capable of determining and instantly acting on that robots cannot do. Particularly things regarding emotions and feelings, you know, and situation awareness and all those type of things. Maybe in the future, there will be AI versions that will come out and will do all these type of things. But at least for now, I do not see robots or open AI doing this better than human beings. So for now, for technically and vocationally skilled people, I think open AI and chat GPT should be things that you should be, yes, looking carefully at, but you look at it as a means to enhancing your business, but not something that is coming to take over your business. So in summary, I would say open AI and chat GPT and other various versions of it are innovations that are welcomed. Every technical or vocationally skilled person should be open to it look at it and see how you can use it to improve your business i don't see it taking over your business because you as a human being have a lot of capabilities and things that you can do that the robot may not be able to do for now you know there are a lot of soft skills that you have that a robot cannot have or does not have as of now so for now i think human beings still have much more leverage over this robot but who knows what the future holds? Technology is developing so fast now, you, you cannot even say anything is impossible. Everything is possible. Thank you very much. If you have not subscribed to this channel, kindly do so now. Just click on the red subscription button there at the corner right now. Kindly do that. And then you click on the post notification bell. And then that's it. Immediately I upload any new video, you will be directly informed so that you don't miss out on any of my subsequent videos. I would like you to comment. I would like to have comments from you. Let's discuss what it is that I, I'm talking about. If you have any issues or any questions, just let me know. Put it in the comment section and I will immediately respond to your comment or whatever it is that you want to talk about. And of course, like it and share so that as many people out there as possible will have information to what is it we are providing here so as to upgrade themselves their skills and make little businesses better so that together we can create more opportunities for ourselves and for others thank you very much have a wonderful day god bless and i'll see you soon